I'm in Africa, right? Yes. I'm here. Yeah. What dish do I have to try? A bunny chow. A what? Bunny chow. Okay, but tell me what the bunny chow is. Well, let me explain something here, Mr. Harvey. A bunny chow is kind of like a staple food in South Africa. And don't worry, no rabbits were harmed in its preparation. A bunny chow also goes by many names in South Africa depending on your location. It's also known as a quarter. You do not come to South Africa and not eat a quarter. In fact, a quarter is so common that it should be on the South African money. So what is a quarter really? Well, a quarter is a South African street sandwich. Well, something like that. Because the Oxford Dictionary defines a sandwich as an item of food consisting of two pieces of bread with a filling between them. A quarter looks at a sandwich and it's like, you need to try harder. Because a sandwich is for breakfast, but a quarter is for breakfast, lunch, supper, dinner in one. If you eat a quarter, you'll be full for the whole week. So where does the name quarter come from? <laughs> the name quarter derived from the Latin word quartier. Some smart kids up here. It's a quarter loaf of bread, which is cut in half and hollowed out. This is where you add your fries. Polony, ham, lettuce, curry, rations. Okay, not, not rations. It's some kind of a sausage. I, I don't know why they call it a ration though. We also add eggs, cheese, ketchup, chicken feet. Chicken feet! Okay, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Wait a minute, man. Cheese? French fries and bread? Yes! Get that and a heart attack. <laughs> I know! You eat that, you're gonna die. At least you die on a full stomach. If you keep eating that, you're going to die. At least you leave your family with bragging rights. Hey baby, in my family we are so rich. We die of food. Oh really? So all I'm saying is, when you come to South Africa, you need to eat a quarter. I promise you, you will die a happy, full man. You are welcome. <laughs>